Thank you, Terry. At this time, I am happy to introduce our commencement speaker, Tom Bodet. If you have listened to National Public Radio recently, or happened to hear a Motel 6 commercial since 1986, you might recognize his voice. Tom began with his national broadcasting career as a commentator for NPR's evening news program, All Things Considered. He is the author of seven books, 15 audio titles, and for all of you cartoon lovers here today, he has even voiced a role in Steven Spielberg's animes, animated series, Animaniacs. Tom's voice has been heard on Saturday Night Live, National Geographic Explorer, and is probably best known from Saturday mornings when Vermont Public Radio airs the weekly news quiz show, Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. As a cast member on the show, Tom brings to listeners the ride wit he has owned in his life as a fisherman, a cannery worker, a logger, a builder, a member of the Dummerston Select Board, and the list goes on. We are delighted that Tom can join us today. Tom. British 
Columbia to go up through the inside passage to Alaska, which was a three-day voyage. And my graduation came on the third day of that voyage. When you get north of Juneau, there's not very much left. And there's this pass called the Lynn Canal, where the mountains come steep down from both sides and meet the water. And you have the middle of that pass, and it looks like the proverbial gates of the north. And all you see beyond it is mountain range after mountain range, and the wind is in your face, and you can smell the ice in it in July. And I'm standing on the bottom of that boat, holding on to that rail, and I'm thinking, what in the hell have I done? College never looked so good to me <laughs> as it did at that moment. But that's the moment I let go of it. Like, you're letting go of it all today. Some of you know what you're doing next. Some of you don't. Some of you only think you know. Life has a way of changing our plans. I'm sure you found that out. But that's all right. You can deal with changes. I sit here today, you've proven to yourself you can deal with a lot of things. You've got discipline, you've got commitment, and most of all, you've got your unique point of view. President Judy read earlier who you are. I mean, the youngest of you is 17, the oldest 67. Your men, your women, two thirds of you are the first generation of your families to graduate from college. So not only have you upped your game, but you've changed the heritage of your entire family with this act. 41 of you, the military connected, 35 veterans yourself. You served us, and now you've served yourself. Thank you very much. You come from eight states, 10 different countries, including Ethiopia, Panama, Congo, Russia, China, and you come from all 14 of Vermont's counties. As a group, you're as diverse as any group in America. But today, you're all one thing. Today, you're the 2013 graduating class of the Community College of Vermont. Now, I know that the governor would agree that Vermont is lucky to have you. He said as much. We both hope you stay here and become a part of Vermont's communities. We need not just the knowledge you've acquired here at CCV, but the wisdom that you bring to us through the experiences of your life. By the way, do you know what the difference between knowledge and wisdom is? Knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a kind of fruit. Wisdom is not putting it in a fruit salad. Uh, that's not my line, but I like it, so I had to lift it for, for this speech. And bringing up fruit salad reminds me that I wanted to say a few things about Vermont politics. <laughs> the governor has left. You, you've heard the old bromide that um, all politics is local, and nowhere is that more true than here in Vermont. Town governments in Vermont with their volunteer select boards and planning commissions and energy committees and, and recreation boards are the stuff that most of us just read about on page two of our local papers. But these are the groups that keep Vermont alive. Our governor, once a puppy selectman, right next door to Dumberston, where I was a selectman for seven of the ten years I spent here in Vermont, and it is the best thing I've ever done. Not for other people, but for myself. It's not just that good feeling you get from helping other people, because believe me, in local politics, most people won't believe you are really that much help. But you know what they say about the psychology of charity? That if you can give somebody 10 cents out of your last dollar, then it's a way of you saying to yourself that you have enough. Time is 
is like that too. Now, I never feel like I have enough time. Do you? I mean, does anybody? But you give a few hours to your busy life, away to your community every week, and you begin to realize that you have enough. Your life is full, and it's real. And there is no better place for us to spend our time. You know, graduation speakers are notorious for giving advice, and I promised myself I wasn't going to do that to you. But, I got just this one thing. Get involved with your communities. Go to some local meetings, go to your churches, go to your senior centers, whatever it is. Figure out where you want to plug in. They need people like you. In fact, they deserve people like you. You know, Italy in World War II was severely damaged by the war. And after the war, some of the towns came back and cried, and some of them didn't. And they did a study in the 50s to try to figure out what it was that made some of these communities succeed and others just remain ghost towns. So they did all, they crunched all this data. They looked at location and transportation and climate and ag soils and the demographics and the level of education, religions, and all of this stuff. When they got down to the end of it, they put all this data together. There were two things that made the difference between the towns that made it and the towns that didn't. The towns that made it had a soccer team and a church choir. What saved those communities was community itself. Like most of you, I never thought I was the kind of guy who would get involved. Of course, I also thought for a long time I was a quitter because I could never finish college. You can be wrong about yourself. I was. You probably are too. Whatever you're sitting there right now in your Judge Judy robes thinking what you can't do or don't do or won't do, you're wrong about most of it. Let go of it. Today is the day you can do that. The day you leave it all behind you. It's you up on the bow of that ship heading through that passage. Stand there with me. The wind is howling down off those glaciers. You see just peak after peak. You don't know what on the other side of there. What is it? Is it going to make you? Is it going to kill you? You don't know where. But do you know what's there? Do you know what's on the other side of that pass? Do you know what's on the other side of that pass for me? My whole big, fat, wonderful life is here. And so is yours. Congratulations to the 2013 class.